It's a passageway that leads farther underground. Oh boy, I guess I have to climb down through this sarcophagus. Guess. Darn, the passage is blocked, but it looks like someone's been using flash boom to get deeper underground. This is my chance to finish the excavation and find that lost footage first. to find a way to light up this room. I'd better try this again. Wow, cool. Let's check this place out.
our lost footage. It really exists. Oh my gosh, the director kept the original jewel of Karnak for himself. So, where is it? Ada? How'd you get here? I followed you. I've been following you ever since I more or less told you to look in Arthur's safe. So where's the jewel? The jewel of Karnak? It was never here. Not the real one, at least. The director couldn't resist having an exact replica made and keeping the original for himself. It's all right here in this letter. There's no jewel of Karnak in here? I don't believe it! Here we are on the very set where the original Pharaoh was shot, just like I planned, only there's no jewel? How am I supposed to get rich and famous now? By being... By being the star of this movie, maybe? Are you kidding? Even I'm smart enough to know this movie is going to be a disaster. Unless... What if disaster were to strike again? Oh my gosh, if someone were to die as tragically and mysteriously as Lois Manson did on this movie, oh my gosh, it would make headlines all over the world. Ada, what are you talking about? Publicity! You die in a cave-in down here. We finish the film in your memory. It opens, bam, smash hit, and I'm rich and famous after all. I die in a cave-in? Yeah, that part's kind of a bummer. But hey, that's showbiz. It was a pleasure working with you, Nancy. Bye-bye.
Hurry! Everything's about to collapse! Well, Ida, looks like you got your wish for publicity after all. Time to see what's on this lost footage. Oh, it's Lois Manson. She's alive? So Lois Manson didn't die from a snake bite on the set of the first Pharaoh after all actress that she was, she faked the whole thing. The director was obviously in on it, as well as the coroner who signed her death certificate. So she must have been some kind of spy or federal witness or something. In any case, once the camera stopped rolling, she vanished. But in spite of all the publicity generated by the footage of her death, as well as by Ida's convenient nervous breakdown, which allowed her to avoid prosecution when it came to that cave-in, Pharaoh tanked at the box office Molly McKenna, who, believe it or not, wound up adopting that stray black cat I'd been chasing all over the lot, didn't really care. But Arthur Hitchens was devastated. It looks like the movie set will be bulldozed over once again to build not Land, but a strip mall. Which was fine by George Jackson. Despite his denials, he deeply resented the fact that Arthur had used his considerable influence to make George unemployable unless he directed Pharaoh. George was happy the film was a flop. I guess he was too busy relishing Arthur's misery to realize that the movie's failure wasn't exactly a boon to his career either. As for me, the Tinseltown Tattler has been hounding me for months, trying to get the inside scoop of my adventure. I'm thinking I'll just have their people call my people. Which means I'll have to train my people, i.e. Togo, to answer the phone. But something tells me having to talk to a dog won't faze their people one bit. where my next case would take me, the Redondo, an exclusive spa where the rich and famous go to get nipped, tucked, or just plain indulged. Massages, gourmet meals, exotic beauty treatments, luxurious rooms. Unfortunately, someone has added danger to its list of amenities by planning devices that suddenly explode with potentially deadly results. Help me unmask this mad bomber before the spa's wealthy clients start checking out for good in my next adventure. <laughs> <laughs> 